Good morning, it's Joe Harris here. I just thought I would just make a very quick little video and create it into a blog on how to actually physically write into your blog. So what I'll do is I've logged into my blogger, go back, I want to write a new blog, create a new post and this is for the ICT co-op which is what I've called it for this class which is ICT. So here is, I'm writing in the post, how to write a blog. So then I just start typing. So please find below an instructional video on how to write a blog post. So you can actually make words blog. You've actually got to think about the reader and I, from my experience, because I've been blogging for a few years, I think most it's safe to say that most bloggers, most readers are pretty lazy, um, which is probably a harsh way of saying it, but the reality is that there is so much information coming at them that it merely needs to be easy and in a format that's easy for them to digest. So anything that is um, using different fonts or underlines, underlying um, helps your reader um, know your stuff and read your stuff and digest it. So you can use, you can see I'm just doing lots of different things here. So this is how you actually put in a link, which I'll do another little video of how I uploaded this video to this blog next. But this is where you insert the link and this is where you can choose pictures. You can actually choose a file. Um, this is a great one that I found yesterday on Bloom's Hierarchy, which I'll use in uh, my next assessment piece. So you can add a picture and you can actually add bullet points, numbers, it's pretty much like you have in Word. So there you go. So the, the point that I wanted to make as well is I would write it in here. I would click save. So always click save because it, I'd hate for you to lose your work. Um, that's why some people like to put it into a word post and then um, uh, copy and paste it into the blog itself uh, so you don't lose work. But I think actually typing it straight in is the best way to go. Then click save. I always click preview. Always, always, always click preview um, before I make it published. So that way I can actually see what it looks like for my reader. I'll just go back. Uh, so you can see I've got that opened, that opened in a new tab in my Internet Explorer. So I'll just go back and then you can actually click publish when you're ready to publish. Um, so that's it. Hope that's helpful for you and I'll see you soon. Bye for now, Joe Harris.